Imagine anxiously awaiting getting to meet your new child after they've found their forever family and then waking up to the news that the country you're adopting them from is under attack. That's exactly the nightmare that dozens of families in the U.S. are facing as their adoption cases find themselves in limbo due to the ongoing crisis in Ukraine. ABC's Matt Gutman brings us this story of two families and what some orphanages in Ukraine are doing to keep some of the most vulnerable as safe and protected as possible. A harrowing journey out of a country gripped by war. Yeah. We had many conversations about what was happening and, you know, if it was the right decision to go or to stay. On February 22nd, Kais and Juniper, who were both born in Ukraine with special needs, were officially adopted into the Whitbroad family. It was like kind of like we we did it we made it we got him out like we're gonna be okay less than 36 hours later russian tanks rolled across the border and russian bombs started shattering the peace and this family from wyoming and those kids were thrust into the biggest armed conflict in europe since world war ii when we woke up to that concussion like that noise that like you felt it, you heard it, and then it's like you heard it again, and then you heard it and you're like, oh my God, like something, it's really happening. They believe they were the last parents to sign adoption paperwork out of Ukraine. Just a few hours later, clutching their kids, they joined what would soon be a deluge of nearly three million refugees navigating an unpredictable war zone to safety. It's been a wild ride. Once the bombings had happened, uh, we still didn't have their passports, so they couldn't have left. And so, like a miracle happened, and we were able to get them. They are some of the lucky ones. Prior to the invasion, just within our agency, we were working with about 45 families who were hoping to adopt from Ukraine, and they had identified 81 children that they hope to bring home. There's just so much unknown at this point. Caius and Juniper are among the fortunate orphans able not only to find their forever families, but also to make it out of Ukraine. The vast majority of the orphans still there with no current prospect for adoption. The war has reportedly uprooted tens of thousands of orphans from state-run institutions in frontline cities. This orphanage in Lviv in western Ukraine had 20 orphans before the war. Now there are 105 children here, mostly from frontline cities. We visited another orphanage in Lviv. Despite the affection and the nourishing meals, there are nightly reminders of the war. At this orphanage, they're trying to give these kids some enrichment. They don't know what war is, we're told here, but they know that something is wrong. They know they're not where they used to be. You can feel the tension. Volunteers are there daily, helping with the transition and the trauma. They have so bad memories, and that's OK. But I can make them, and I can make good memories for them. And mm. that's what I'm trying to do. You're trying to give them good memories. Yes. What do they need most? I think just time spending, like being with them is the most important. The Ukrainian government has frozen all adoptions. Thousands of orphans were evacuated to European cities. But now the government is trying to keep many of them inside Ukraine to minimize the trauma. It's just trauma on top of trauma on top of trauma. So one of our goals is if we can figure out a way to keep them here, we reduce the amount of trauma that we're inflicting on the kids. Sherry McClurg is a clinical psychologist who specializes in adoptions from Ukraine. What these kids must be feeling and experiencing, it's got to be so overwhelming right now. And we just need to keep them all together. Spending time is something Shannon and Anthony Estes dream about in Illinois. When we first met him, he literally leaped into the arms of my wife. And, you know, he was full of tears. And then when we first got into the car, he was pointing at her seat saying mama and papa and just immediately <laughs> fell in love with the kid. Roma seen here singing in the car. The Estes asked we blur his face for safety reasons. They hosted the seven-year-old this winter, and as they were waiting for adoption papers to be filed, Russia invaded Ukraine, upending their plans also. We didn't think anything was gonna happen. I heard Russia started to invade Ukraine, 
Uh, so of course that struck fear in me. I had to get on my phone, look at all the research and I started to freak out. Like now what's going to happen? We have no way to reach him. We don't know what's going to happen to him. But during our interview, telling us their latest news. We actually just found out his orphanage crossed into a safe country. Yep, just, just this afternoon. But the Estes admit they've been fortunate. Many other families continue to wait with no end in sight after Ukraine put that moratorium on adoptions. Just to have him in my arms again and be able to hold him and kiss him goodnight and tell him I love him. Say hi. Hi, I Call me Vanushka one more time. <laughs> uh, it would just absolutely make my day. They're worried, but hopeful there will be a day they can all meet again. It doesn't take blood to make you a family member. It doesn't even take the same language, the same culture to be a family member. Back in Wyoming, a sweet homecoming. Coming home, tell the world I'm coming. Caius and Juniper are safe from war, now a part of a loving family. Back in Ukraine, the many thousands of orphans uprooted by this war are busy clinging to a semblance of childhood, squealing with laughter on the merry-go-round, playing patty cake, zoning out to Paw Patrol, and as often as they can, being loved. I always say that um, kids belong in families, but it, that's just how it is. I love you. We think we won the lottery with these two kids. So many tentacles to this war. Thanks to Mac Upman for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.